Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present you the Russo-Turkish War, it was 1768 to 1774. It's a real historic battle, and I hope you enjoy. First of all, I'm going to introduce you the uh, Russian army. As you can see over here, we have some Cossacks, two heavy artilleries. As far over here, we have a line light infantry and a couple of line infantry, which are very important for the battle. Also, uh, in the back over here, we have the uh, riflemen, which are the kind of snipers. And um, looks over here, the grenadiers, the Russian grenadiers. Also over here, we have a light infantry. More, uh, this is one very interesting stuff we have here is the Cossack infantry, more line infantry, and the guards, the best of the Russian army. We here have some two units of heavy artillery, the Cossack cavalry. So this is basically the, the Russian army. Now I'm going to introduce you the Turkish army. Oh, this is the uh, one of the standard infantry, Nazam Sedit light infantry. There's another one over here. And uh, Janissary musketeers, one of the most famous musketeers of the Ottoman Empire. Another here, uh, we have a 24 foot artillery. This is the uh, horseman, drill horseman. General's bodyguard are over here. Spies, the lancers of the Ottoman Empire. Over here we have the Mamelukes and the guard camels. Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you what was actually the Russo Turkish War. The Russo-Turkish War of 1768 and 1774 was a decisive conflict that brought southern Ukraine, northern Caucasus and Crimea within the orbit of the Russian Empire. The war followed the internal tensions within Poland where there was the strife between the nobility and the king Stanislaus Augustus Poniatowski, former favorite of the Russian Empress Catherine II. The king was dependent on Russian military backing. A detachment of Cossacks in Russian services entered Balda, on Ottoman territory, during the pursuit of a Polish Boer Confederation force. The Ottoman Empire accused the troops of having conducted the slaughter with uh, its subjects in the Tough Balta, a charge denied by the Russian authorities. Following this important incident at Balta, Sultan Mustafa III declared war on Russia on September 25, 1768. The Turks formed the alliance with the Polish oppositionary forces of the Boer Confederation, while Russia was supported by the Great Britain which offered naval advisors to an Imperial Russian navy. The Polish opposition was defeated by Alexander Suvorov. Her daddy was transferred to the Turkish theater of operations, but in 1773 and 1774 he won several minor and major battles for Russia following the previous successes of the Russian field marshal Count Peter Romanianstiv, the Larga and Kagul. The naval operation of the Russian Baltic fleet in the Mediterranean he ordered even more spectacular victories under the command of Alexei Grigorievich Orlov. In 1771, Egypt and Syria rebelled against the Ottoman rule, while the Russian fleet totally destroyed the Turkish navy in the Battle of Chesma. On July 21, 1774, the Ottoman Empire signed the Treaty of Kusuk Kainari. According to the treaty, the Crimean Khatanate formally gained its independence, but in reality became dependent on Russia. Russians received the war reparations of 4.5 million rubles and two key seaports allowing the direct access to the Black Sea. This war was but a small part of the continuous process of expansion of the Russian Empire southwards and eastwards during the 18th and 19th century. What you're seeing here is a war of Russia against the Ottoman Empire. It's just a simulation of how it happened, how it was. Of course, I didn't have the exact strategies formations of the period, so I hope you enjoy because I added some different music and stuff. 
So uh, first of all, subscribe my videos and I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much.